Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So today I'm gonna uh, have a little bit of a stack of CDs for you guys to show. Uh, let's get the oddball out of the way. I found this in a thrift store and I thought like, yeah, why the hell not? Um, the first one is really cringy, but I kind of like this type of stuff. I know there's a lot of, there used to be a lot of controversy around this project. Taru with uh, 200 kilometers in the wrong lane. I guess everybody have heard about these, um, about these girls. Uh, absolutely, hundred percent sure all the things she said. I guess that one has been going around and around and around. Uh, then we got a Dutch pop rock uh, band called Go Back to the Zoo. Really fun to listen to uh, rock music, pop rock music. Uh, then we got Bon Jovi with Slippery When Wet. Uh, yeah, of course, with the banger, you give love a bad name and living on a prayer, so I have to hand this. Uh, then I got some old school rap. Uh, T.I. with King. And Easy e um, with Eternal E Best Off. Alright, with that out of the way... Um, I do have some metal in that I really want to show you guys. Uh, the first three are from um, a record store behind the store um, in Leiden, Plato. And I found these three for a really, really cool price. Um, first one was a blind buy because I don't know anything about this band. I looked it up online and it sounded really awesome. Uh, I still haven't spun the whole album, but I'm certainly going to going to do that this is december moon with source of origin released on spine farm in god knows when but it looks like around the mid 2000s or something no nope, 1996 if i'm correct uh yeah december moon um black metal bands uh from finland if i'm correct Cool. I'll try to leave a link in the description. Then we got In Flames with Jester Ray's Black Ash Inheritance. And I believe this is a compilation of the album and Black Ash Inheritance. I could be wrong. I'm not a big In Flames fan, but this album should give me an idea how the older In Flames sounds like. And just look at that artwork. That's fucking amazing. Then we have a, a live album that pretty much everybody knows. This is Life in a Leipzig by Mayhem. By the way, all of these CDs are thrashed, like thrashed to the max. Um, I don't think I can play them, but the thing is, I really wanted to have them in the collection, uh, especially the Mayhem one, because I'm trying to get more Mayhem in the collection. Uh, then we have Arafel for Battles Once Fought. Also a bit of a blind buy. I saw the label once, uh, or the, uh, the logo once. And it looked really, really interesting. Um, bulky, black and black metal-ish stuff. Um, really old school. Sounds really fun to listen to. Um, from time to time, some good folk black metal released on noise noise art in 2010. Then these I found in a app called Vinted, uh, which is just for the Netherlands, Belgium, uh, Italy, and Spain. And these were going for 10 euros in total shipped. So I was like, okay, I'll grab a few. The first two are from a band that I get hyped about every single year or something, or a couple of years. And that's the deathcore band Attila, with the album Rage, with the lip cover. And this is the original artwork. I guess everybody is familiar with Attila one way or another. Um, yeah. There's an, it's an old school, or not an old school, it's an old deathcore band, if you just look at that, 
uh, you get the idea of what it might sound like. They're um, they're quite fun to listen to. Um, if you want want to put something mindless on, you probably put love on something like that. Then we got about that life from Attila. Again, these were all in total ten euro ships and. Just open the CD for the first time, and you saw this, so that's always nice. Um, then we have Amur with a Speaker of the Dead. The uh, case came in pretty much broken, but yeah, I do have some replacements somewhere. Um, yeah, Amur, I saw them once at Grass Pop in 2013 or 14 or something. I kind of liked it. When I saw this was in that whole lot, I was like, ah, what the fuck is And even has the old merchandise flyer. That's pretty cool. And as last one for today, this one also came in like completely destroyed. No Time to Bleed by Suicide Silence. And by totally broken, I mean broken. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely gonna replace that. So. Um, everybody's familiar with um, Suicide Silence. I'm nearing completing the Mitch Locker uh, collection from uh, Mitch Locker era of Suicide Silence. Uh, so, yeah, really awesome to have this in the collection. So, that was it. Um, hopefully, I will do a video very, very soon. And I'll see you next video.